Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about smartphone lens attachment. In particular, we're going to talk about the fisheye, the wide angle, and the macro lens attachments. Um, the ones I have here uh, on Amazon, they call Vixing 3-in-1 Clip-On, 180 degree Supreme Fisheye 2, and uh, the 0.65x wide angle 2, and also the macro lens camera photo kit for Apple iPhone. 6 and 6 plus, etc. Et 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 okay, okay. <laughs> um, there are a lot of different lens attachment on Amazon. Uh, I picked this one because it's one of the top seller there. And uh, in particular, the, the fisheye lens, which is this one, does not have the black border. That's commonly associated with fisheye shots. I'm not sure what they did. Maybe they zoom it in or I don't know. But it, the results looks good. Uh, and the reason I bought these is because that recently I went on a trip to Utah. Um, and I went to Bryce Canyon, Zion, and also um, the Horseshoe Band near uh, Grand Canyon. And I did not want to lug my DSLR. So I figured, okay, I want a wide, wider angle shot from my iPhone 6. What can I do? So I've been seeing these. I always thought they're kind of gimmicky. Uh, but I figure, okay, I mean, this set is only $17. What do I have to lose? So I bought it. And I was actually extremely impressed. So impressed that <laughs> I spent the time to do a review on them, even though they're like six, $16, 17 dollars. It's almost like a no-brainer. Um, in particular, I'm especially impressed by the fisheye lens. It is so useful, especially when you, when you go on hikes where you don't want to lug all your camera gear, or when you just want to have like a, something fun, a fun shot. And as I talk, I'll start. I'll try to put on some um, some shots I did uh, during my trip with these lenses. Uh, during the trip, I did not pull out the wide angle and the macro lens at all. Um, it's all it's all about the uh, fisheye lens. So, since we're not going to focus too much on this guy, let's talk about this guy first. <laughs> uh, so, as I mentioned, these all work for iPhone 6, although the design is pretty universal. So, if you actually see the product page on Amazon, which I'm going to link underneath, it lists out all the camera that fits. And... Uh, but actually, I mean, the design is so universal, the concept is so universal that as long as you can get this clip over the phone's width, you should be good. So now, let's, let's, let me see if I can do an example like this. Like, if you can see it, my desk, my messy desk, through a regular iPhone 6 lens, looks like this. I'm going to put on the wide angle. And what you do is kind of just like wedge your phone inside this lens and maneuver the lens so that it sits in the center of the camera lens and you'll notice that this thing right here the clip is kind of you can move to kind of accommodate for different phone sizes okay I just took a left shot so once again align in the center and if you look here see how it's a little bit wider so this is a wide angle um, the other cool thing about this is that it comes with a macro lens, although it is kind of gimmicky because you can't really... So what you do is like unscrew the wide angle lens and you get the macro. That's this, this element right here. And same thing, you want to center it and... The problem with this is that you can't really control the distance. You have to get close to a certain distance. You can't really like move back here and then try to refocus. It doesn't work. So your your camera, your phone has to be a certain distance from the object you wanna you wanna take picture of. So it really limits its usability. So I think in terms of gimmicky, the macro is not too useful. And the wide angle, although it gives you a little a little extra, it's almost like you step that couple couple steps. It's not wide enough. I mean, it's okay. It's better than normal. So normal is like this. And I'll put up some more examples as well. So now let's get down to this guy, the fisheye lens. Um, this is worth the money. Um, okay, so remember how my desk looked like this for regular iPhone 6? Let's slap this baby on. And through the trip, pretty much I really abused this thing. I just like shove it in a bag um, or put it in a pocket with my key and stuff like that with the lens cap on, of course. Um, and it's perfectly fine. So same thing, kind of like wedge your phone between the clip and then you want to align the lens to the center of the attachment. 
And look at this. Look at how much more you can capture. And how, how messy my desk is. So with these uh, fisheye lens attachment, it really gives you a more interesting perspective on whatever you're taking picture of. And of course, um, the way you take picture with a fisheye or wide angle lens is a lot different. A lot of people think that with a wide angle or ultra wide angle lens, you kind of you basically use it to capture more things in in this photo. But a lot of cases, it's not true. It's more to Get, it allows you to get closer to the subject you want to take picture of and include a little bit more of the environment so the subject has more impact because closer to you so it's more like putting more focus on the, sub, the main subject of the photo I'm still very new to it so but this is what I hear um, and that's what I'm trying to do instead of just using it as like an awesome landscape tool which I've been using <laughs> which is terrible but anyways um, basically a lens attachment like this um, it costs seventeen dollars. I think it's a no-brainer. Um, even just for this lens, I'll gladly pay up to maybe forty dollars just for this. Um, but on top of this, you get this, right? The wide angle and the macro lens, and also you get a cool little carrying case like this, which I never use because I just don't throw this in the bag, and a pretty nice packaged box. So again, um, I mentioned a couple times already, like. This is just a no-brainer, especially if you if you like to hike. All right, if you just go around town, go around town. Uh, if you see some interesting scene, you want to capture more of it, or if you see a certain subject that looks really interesting, you want to put more emphasis on him. Slap this thing on, get close, and then you'll get some awesome shots. It, like the photo that come out of it, image quality did kind of suffer slightly, not too bad, but it does kind of the edge is kind of soft, right? I mean, you have to kind of stretch the things. So I wouldn't say that it did not have an um, it did not have an impact on image quality at all, but in, in exchange, the impact of the photo um, is so much greater that it's totally worth it. Um, I really used this lens a lot during my trip, um, and also you must be wondering, okay, so we see your messy desk. Can we see a more concrete example of like how the how the regular regular iPhone uh, perspective versus like the wide angle? the fish eye or the macro, how do they look? So if I'm doing this right, uh, now I'm gonna kinda overlay a couple of sample shots I just took outside on my deck of like the regular iPhone 6 compared to the wide angle, which is 0.65 x, 0.65 times, versus the fish eye. And again, um, my favorite is the fish eye. I would probably just leave the wide angle and macro at home but for example, here's the macro as well, and I mean that if you, if the distance happened to be usable for you, it's great. I mean it is it is pretty awesome. It is an interesting perspective as well. But for me, just not too useful, because you cannot really like move back, refocus, and stuff like that. So this is a quick review for me. Um, this whole set is seventeen dollars on Amazon right now, um, which is seriously a no brainer. I feel like everybody who travels, who hikes, whatever, should have one in the pocket if you don't want to lug your camera around. Um, I was shameless enough that at the Horseshoe Bend, I actually paired it with my selfie stick in order to like raise my smartphone all the way up so I can get a more complete view of the Horseshoe Bend. And it was, it was awesome. I mean, yeah. So this is actually one of uh, my great purchase recently. It is like so worth the money. And this has, I, I guess I've been rambling long enough and this is it for the review and I highly recommend this product. So, hope this has been helpful. Talk to you guys later.